Welcome to this month's edition of the McGee Report. Our topic this month is the resolution of student conflict. Although we love working with our students because they are capable of self-awareness, empathy, taking on responsibilities, and are also interested in social justice, according to the developmental research studied, middle-aged students commonly display behaviors that can be characterized as competitive, moody, sensitive, insecure, and energetic. These characteristics, along with a desire to create a teen subculture, can lead to conflicts with members of the school community. When this occurs, adults at McGee follow protocols for addressing the issue and supporting to resolve and restore relations that eliminate or at least minimize obstacles that impede teaching and learning. During the video, we aim to take you through a series of action steps as we work toward the effective management and positive improvement of student behaviors. Please note, the scenario and student actors are simulating a story and have been asked to help with the filming of the project. A conflict might occur when students are working or playing together. For example, in this scenario, Andrew, Connor, and Cami are playing basketball and Andrew slaps Connor's hand. This may be intentional or not. Later, while Cami and Connor are alone, Connor tells Cami that he is angry and that he was slapped and that if it happens again, Andrew is going to be really sorry that he did it to him. Cami makes a decision to send Andrew a message that Connor said he is upset and threatened to harm Andrew because of the slap. Andrew then confronts Connor and makes a threat of physical harm. Brianna is witness to the conflict. Brianna is concerned and makes a report to the school counselor who takes action to gather information and resolve the conflict with each student involved. During the meetings, the counselor works to identify the actual events that took place, alternative options at each interaction, and impacts of choices on self and others. The counselor then develops a plan to meet with each student separately a second time to plan out a mediation between the students. During the separate planning meeting, the counselor asks the student what he or she wants moving forward. The goal is to end the conflict and maybe even restore a positive relationship, although there are many times that students simply want to end the conflict and part ways in an appropriate manner. The counselor explains who will be present at the meeting, the process during the meeting, and norms for the mediation. A guide to questions that will be asked, ways to respond, and promises to end the conflict are discussed and at times rehearsed. The counselor will need to inform an assistant principal of the conflict if school rules have been violated as the school is required to implement discipline in the event of a violation of Board of Education policy. The assistant principal also plays a role in the mediation to help resolve and restore as they have received training in restorative practices. He or she will address the discipline side of the issue after learning has been addressed. A mediation is held between the students under the guidance of the counselor and assistant principal. During the meeting, students share their goals for the meeting outcome, identify feelings, impact of actions, and make a plan moving forward to meet the goal of conflict resolution. A contract may be written and drawn up to document the plan. If a Board of Education policy or school rule was violated, students would learn of the required school action after the meeting at separate times. Phone calls to families are made and the required documentation is finalized and filed. Ongoing formal and informal monitoring is implemented to maintain positive and appropriate behaviors. I hope that you enjoyed this month's video and understand the effort and resources deployed to help our students in the journey to becoming kind, compassionate citizens who increasingly make growth in their ability to independently communicate and solve problems that, are sh that they are sure to encounter in and outside the walls of the short three years they spend at McGee School. Thank you to our students Connor Lindsay, Cami Melkarney, Andrew Bassett, Brianna Robertson, and Camden DeLude for help on this project. Have a great day.